if you feed a vegan diet to your child, you're setting it up for failure. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I'm gonna react to The Doctors. On their YouTube channel, they just uploaded a video called Can You Safely Raise Your Baby Vegan? Of course, you cannot raise your baby safely vegan. Optimally, every baby would breastfeed and breast milk is not vegan. Nevertheless, it should be interesting to see what the mainstream says about vegan diets. Let's have a look. A 25-year-old UK mother has gone viral after posting a video declaring she's raising her seven-month-old baby on a vegan diet and social media is in an uproar. Some have gone so far as suggesting CPS be called for malnourishment. Good while others support the decision. Celebrities have also tried the trend. Alicia Silverstone trend. had her own son on a vegan diet since he was two months. Sure, I believe you. All of those Hollywood stars are vegan, so you can be vegan too. Adamant, he was an example of health despite the backlash. While there are many online sure. mom support groups for vegan baby diets, it leaves us wondering, is this safe or sound for our kids? No. And here to share his thoughts on this controversial topic mm. is board certified pediatric gastroenterologist and author of the Pediatrician's Guide to Feeding Babies and Toddlers, friend of the show, Dr. Anthony Porto. Welcome back, Dr. Porto. 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 Great to be back, thank you so much. Tell us, Doc, why does the vegan baby trend concern you? The vegan diet is a diet where we eat plant-based food, right? Which can be a yeah. very great diet to follow. No, it cannot be a great diet to follow. You know that, but you're catering to dummies. Um, what we have to remember in kids is that we are eliminating animal fats, so eggs, we're eliminating milk and other dairy yeah. products as well as meats. And we need to then figure out ways to get those nutrients back into kids so they can have a well-rounded diet. Mm -hmm. What's concerning about these trends is that parents may be doing these trends or following these trends without speaking with their pediatrician. And so we want to make sure that we're setting the child up for success. Uh, doesn't this tell you everything you need to know? In order to feed a child, you never needed a doctor. Even the mainstream normies will agree. Millions of years of evolution. So if we evolved by your standard, then we surely evolved with a certain species-specific diet as well, no? So for millions and millions of years, there were no doctors. For millions and millions of years, people ate their species-specific diet. For millions and millions of years, they didn't need advice on how to feed their child a trend. But now you're sitting here telling us it is a good diet to follow. Us and the parent up for success so that we can ensure the child can grow adequately and grow to their fullest potential. Yes, please. So in general, what is your opinion on feeding infants a vegan diet. Infants cannot be fed a vegan diet. Yes, they can eat some plants, but nevertheless, they're surviving off the mother's milk, aka they're not vegan. I think the first thing I want to say, it can be safe, right? So for those who are How? being exclusively breastfed, and that's usually for the first six months of life, the first thing that we need to think about <sighs> is how's the breast milk? And studies have shown is that you just debunked your statement. A vegan diet is only healthy if they are breastfeeding. You as a doctor, as the expert, you surely understand then that the only nutrition comes from the mother's milk and not from the plants. You yourself mentioned animal fats. There are no animal fats in plants. The vegan diet fails to provide animal fats and important proteins, etc., etc. This is why the kid is dependent on the mother's milk. Now you talk about the quality. Let's have a look. Breast milk from moms who are following a vegan diet have similar nutritional composition similar. as those Close who are following enough. a vegetarian diet and for those who are following non-vegetarian or non-vegan diets. And yeah, exactly. Vegan mother's milk has a similar composition to vegetarian mother's milk. Go figure. And vegetarian mother's milk has a similar composition to people that don't follow a vegetarian diet, aka a standard American diet, aka 80% plant-based already. And 
which is great. But there are some micronutrients that we need to consider, such as omega-3 fatty acids may be a little lower in the, in the yeah. diet, vitamin D, calcium, yeah. vitamin B12 being a big one. Yes. So typically when I'm... So typically everything you said is correct. I'm agreeing with you. But by stating those facts, you cannot simultaneously say that the vegan diet is healthy. It is not. Mom is breastfeeding. We want to encourage her to eat an additional calories, usually 400 to 500 extra calories per day, and continue those prenatal vitamins so we can ensure that you're getting wow. the adequate nutrition. But you're not ensuring that. There is no proof that those synthetic vitamins will get absorbed by the women. Moreover, you can see that women that consume those synthetic vitamins have tremendous morning sickness. Ladies, on the other hand, that consume real food, real nutritionally dense animal food, and get their vitamins this way, do not experience such morning sickness. Why is that so? Kids are being introduced to more solid foods, right? So at six months when solids get introduced, yeah. we have to remember that babies need diets high in fat, high in protein and low in fiber. And sometimes <laughs> that can be a little different than what we see. That can be a little different. If you're not taking any isolated plant proteins or tofu or anything on those lines into consideration, by the way, those foods are gunk, then you're in no position to consume enough fats and proteins. You say babies need fats, proteins and low fiber. Wow, I've seen that somewhere. In kids on a vegan, and when you're following a vegan diet. So we want to make sure that when we're introducing foods, we're introducing foods that are, follow this basically, tofu, avocado, making sure we're eating soy yogurts, cooked beans, lentils, and these are- That is absolutely ridiculous. So as I said, you're gonna mention tofu. Obviously, tofu is processed soy beans where the fiber has been removed to an extent. So now you have a chunk of plant protein, but you do not have fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A or vitamin D3 or vitamin K2. None of it is found in tofu. What is found in tofu is phytoestrogens on the other hand. The same applies to the soy yogurt. And then you talk about whole beans and lentils. That is the opposite of what you just said, because whole beans and lentils do not have any fat and they have a bunch of fiber. Foods that may not be part of the typical way we introduce solids. So so planning is going to be key, speaking with a pediatrician, seeing if your child may need additional supplements, and this is going to set you wow. up for success. This will set you up for success by denying the child its species-specific diet and giving him supplements instead. What are some potential adverse wow. health effects for infants and toddlers on vegan diets? So I think when we think about it, we think about bone concerns, right, and bone development because of the potential low calcium and low vitamin D. We think about anemia due to iron as well as vitamin B12 deficiency. There can be some neuropathies <laughs> when we have low... Man, this guy makes great points, but still insists that you can feed a baby vegan. Vitamin B12. How? We can also see thyroid abnormalities because of iodine deficiency. And in general, we may see some developmental and cognitive delays. And wow. we have to also think about overall calories. So it's really important for your child to be weighed regularly at the pediatrician's office to make sure they're on their right path. Dr. Judy, you're a new mom. What are your thoughts on this vegan diet for babies? Well, I can 100% understand why parents are saying, okay, I'm doing the research myself. I know what's best for my kid. I get that. But if you're going to make these decisions, just have those discussions, get the safe guidelines. And for individuals who really- There are no safe guidelines. Babies hate vegetables. This is all you need to know. It is very, very simple. Want to focus Whoa. on a vegan diet. Maybe there's a balance there. Maybe there's 80% where you can do plant-based and then 20% of the time you're- But this is what Americans already do. Look at your diet. It consists 80% of plants. You want to give Man. your baby some animal protein because it is important for your growing child at this particular phase. And consulting with the right specialist and not being afraid to have that conversation is really key here. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. Absolutely pathetic normie perspective. As always, what did I expect? It is the doctors after all. Those people cater to their viewers, try to be politically correct. But in the end, this is babies' lives at stake here. We cannot allow any mistakes. We cannot recommend synthetic vitamins, 80% plants. We have to tell those parents the truth. The truth is, of course, that plants meet 
eats all kinds of micronutrients and come with a bunch of anti-nutrients. A growing child needs saturated fats and proteins, as the doctors said here themselves. None of it you will find in plants. There are no fats in plants. Plants have plant oils. The protein is mediocre. If you feed a vegan diet to your child, you're setting it up for failure. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. As always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.